Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for a extended play review. And this is for the Beyond Unbroken Don't Wake the Dead extended play review. So I'm going to discuss what I listen to and let you know my thoughts on this extended play. So let's dive into this review. Now there's only six tracks off this album. And Under Your Skin was really good. Five out of six tracks were really good. Losing my mind. I can relate to some of the lyrics, but I'm not a huge fan of that song. But it's alright. It's not the worst thing. It's alright. I did enjoy Overdose and Memories. Those were great songs. Um, Memories is about... Well, I watched the... A live YouTube stream that they made and it's pretty much about uh, a loved one they lost or whatever so they're celebrating the memories that they shared or reliving the memories I wouldn't say reliving but just sharing their memories with that person that passed or whatever but overall, this was a good extended play. Like, really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, the guitars are sick. The screams are sick. And the drum work is just awesome. And Monty Money's voice in this whole album just... You're just left with the, oh shit, this is so good. <laughs> uh... Losing my mind, however, it's heavy, but it's not the best thing I've heard. It is a little short for what it is, but, and the title track, Don't Wake the Dead, was actually pretty good. It was a little over three minutes, but three minutes and like six seconds, so it was pretty solid for what it was. Well, I enjoyed it, but, <laughs> yeah. And Under Your Skin, I like the, it's like a lyric video that they showed. I didn't get to mention Suffocate. That one I was hesitant on liking, but I actually did enjoy it. And the reason why I'm doing this Don't Wake the Dead EP all this time... I know it's been out since like 2016, I think. So it's about four years old. But I'm doing this because the new album is dropping next Friday. And I'm definitely going to be reviewing their debut album. I got to listen to it first. But afterwards, yeah, I'll review it. Or when I come around to reviewing it. Because I got to do five album reviews next Friday. Which is a lot. <laughs> but I did enjoy Memories. I did do a track review for it like years ago. Almost two years ago. So definitely go check that out if you haven't seen it. It is a little short. But I think for this review you'll probably like it more than my track review on Memories. I enjoyed it. Because it helped me through a dark time. Around that time I did that track review, I was going through a lot. Uh, depression, anxiety, uh, suicidal thoughts. But I wasn't acting on it. I was just feeling it. But everyone feels down most of the time and everyone's got issues. But... It's always best to n talk to someone about it or talk to the suicide hotline or whatever about it too that they can help for sure if you're going through a hard time with mental health or if you're feeling like you're worthless or whatever talk about about it with the suicide hotline they'll really help for sure <clears throat> they helped me and I'm just spreading that message to people who mental health is not in check or I'm not trying to say 
that to be mean or whatever. I'm just saying it to be helpful to you guys. Because I can come off a little bit blunt. <laughs> but, yeah, out of 10, I'm giving this a 9.5 out of 10 for this EP. I really enjoyed it. And I definitely see myself returning to this a lot. I'm really excited for the Running Out of Time album that I'm going to be reviewing next week. And, well, I'll probably find it on the 2nd. But I won't review it till like that night or the third. So I gotta do other album reviews that day. But probably on the second I'm doing other album reviews and then I'll be doing the rest on the third. But definitely comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the EP for Don't Wake the Dead by Beyond Unbroken if you've heard it. I know I'm pretty late to doing this review. I just wanted to do it to celebrate the release for the Running Out of Time album, which is dropping April 3rd. And I hear that they're probably going to make a new track very soon, which I'm definitely going to listen to that. I don't know what song it's going to be, but I'll definitely check it out and do a track review on these guys. I think Monty Money's got a really great voice, and uh, I've heard of from from Escape the Fate, but uh, I never got into Escape the Fate that much. But uh, I will return to you tomorrow for the Reason Why episode, and yeah, um. If you like this review, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. If I did say that earlier, I'm sorry. I don't like repeating myself too much. But I had to say it to end the outro to my videos. But I will return to you tomorrow for two videos. The Reason Why episode... And the Tool album review for Anima or whatever it's called. Or Anima. Uh, so definitely check that out. And definitely check out my memories track. I know I was kind of an amateur in the beginning of doing these album reviews. But I was learning. And still going through a rough time in 2018. But... If you watch my videos in 2019 and this year, you're going to like them a lot more. You're going to see there's a big improvement in my well-being and all that. But definitely stay safe out there, guys. Uh, I hope you guys are doing okay with all this craziness going around with the coronavirus. But yeah, take care of yourselves, guys. Uh... Stay healthy and all that, and keep on rocking for sure, and I'll see you in my next video.